Hey, this is Mr. White. This is Ms. Gruber. We are going to do our linear, linear programming investigation. It's called Let's Make Some Money. So we're first going to go over what, uh, what we're going to do. What are we going to do? We are going to research some stocks and see, like Mr. White said, how much money we can make. So we're going to break it up in terms of a large cap fund. What's cap stand for? Cap stands for capitalization, which is basically how much the company is worth. And a large cap stock is worth between 10 to 200 billion dollars. 10 billion to 200 billion. Okay, and maybe even more if there are bigger out there. Mm -hmm. So the next we have a medium cap company, which is worth... Medium cap companies are worth between 2 to 10 billion dollars. Between 2 and 10 billion, okay. And you guys are all smart, so I bet you can guess the last one are small cap stocks. And small those are cap. worth less than $2 billion. Less than $2 billion. So $2 billion and below. Okay, perfect. So, um, well, how do we find these funds? Well, we're going to go to what's called Morningstar. Morningstar is an investment website, and it's going to help us find, um, find our stocks. So where do I go? So you go to Morningstar.com, and once you're there, you click up on the top the word stocks. In order to find all our stocks in one place, you're going to scroll down, look on the left, and under performance, click on sectors. Sectors tell you the general type of stocks you can look for. Okay, wait for it to come up, and you'll see, and we can break up our stocks in terms of energy. When I first started investing, my dad gave me some advice. He said, don't ever invest in a stock, or always invest in a stock that you believe in. So why don't you try and find some things that you would think that would be consistent with your uh, values or interests. We can go into technology. I like technology. We can go into technology and we can organize it in terms of the top companies, so the, the ones with the largest sort of caps, or we can just go to top 100 performers um, as well. And you can see that the list changes. Right here is the market cap. And that's what we're talking about. But that's 3.73. That's not $3.73. No. As a matter of fact, Mr. White, that's in millions. So that particular one would be $3.73 million. So very small cap stock indeed. So let's look at that, actually. It should say, maybe this isn't a good one to do. That one's not even big enough. Let's go find one that's, this is good for you to see. That one's not even big enough to see. It doesn't have enough information. It's probably... Let's go back here. Hello. There we go. So, let's find another one. All right. Let's click this guy. So you see that this is a market cap of 44 million. Mm -hmm. So that categorizes us into the small cap stocks. And then you see at the top where it says Z, or Zoom, excuse me, 1D, 5D, that's one day, five days. And you can go to 3M, which is three months. We're looking for the three month performance here. So the three month performance on this particular stock is 304%. They've had a lot of growth over the last three months. So if you think that that's pretty strong, or if you think that that's maybe it sort of went out hard and then is might die in the next three months, you might not want to use this one. But you can see that uh, it's gone up 0.81 cents today, or, or dollars, sorry. Um, so if you're going to choose that stock as your small cap stock, you'd be looking at a 304% rate of return for your three months. So you'd be wanting to note that, the 304% for your small cap. So let's go find a large cap company. So let's show 100 largest companies by market cap. All right, so here's a big company. Uh, let's, well, here's Google. I think we've heard of that one before. So Google has $225 billion. Definitely a large cap. Definitely a large cap. You can see that um, over the last three months, it's gone up 22.26%. So I would go over to my notebook file, and I'll say, OK, my large cap is going to be Google. So Google's ticker number is G-O-O-G, -O -O and that's gone up 26 point, what did I say? 26 point something percent. 26 point, or 22.26, sorry. So 22.26 percent. 
while we're here, why don't we put in the small cap one that we were looking at before as well? What was that one? It was called Coco or something similar to that, and that went up by 304%. 304%. 304, 340, something like that. Okay, and go and find a medium cap. All right, medium cap. So what sort of numbers are we looking for? So we're looking between two and ten billion dollars. Okay. So what's this uh, seventy-two? What would that? Seventy-two million. So that's still small. That's still too small. What about that four hundred? Yeah. So that would fit in. There we go. There we. Never even heard of this four hundred. Don't care if I heard about it. Right. So, let's so look at the three month performance. Three months. And we have 100%. That's Excellent. pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Let's that. So let's take that back over. 100.39. What's it called? 100%. Nam Tam something? What is it? N T E. There we go. That's what it's called. That's the ticker number. <laughs> N T E. Okay. So Fantastic. now you can develop your um, profit equation with those three stocks and what else are I we going to do? I think we're going to give them some constraints, Mr. White, don't you think so? Yeah, some constraints. So you don't want to put all your money in one. So, I don't know. I'm thinking we should invest, what, up to $20,000? So we'll give you, of just as money, we're going to give you $20,000 to invest. Great. And uh, we like to take a risk, but I know small cap stocks sometimes can, can be super risky. So. Why don't we say you can invest maybe up to three thousand dollars in that one? Three thousand in small cap. You don't want to put all your money in there because they can go broke tomorrow. They haven't been around very long. Right. Okay. And then maybe we want to look at investing at least two times as much in the large cap. Two times in large. Two as times more in large than in than small the or than in medium. Yeah. And that should give you enough information to go and do this project. Sounds great. Okay, so look at the document that describes all you need to turn in and the rubric, and uh, good luck. Sounds great.